Okay, what's up everybody? This is Afro Joe and I'm doing this video that's gonna be called Government Money and T V. Government Money and T V. The reason why it's gonna be called Government Money and T V is because how the how we how the people is acting to how the reason why I'm calling it this is because these three things are fucking up the America fucking up the US. These three things. Government that's politics. T V this reality shows and money which is controlling the country and the world but I sit here I'm gonna name three names three names I bet two of them y'all I bet two of them I'm gonna get negative comments about and that third one it's not but maybe that third one will if all three names get negative comments because they are mentioned it's because they tell the truth or just two it still be on three telling the truth. Uh, the first name is Louis Farrakhan, Minister Louis Farrakhan, brilliant man, leader of the Muslims, and uh, he sat down with uh, <laughs> Ja Rule and DMX and talked to me about beef, and, and he makes good sense on several topics that I agree with. I don't believe in the faith of Islam, but I believe in some of the things he say. Second name, Jesse Ventura. You may have seen him on wrestling. Jesse the Body, Governor Ventura. And you may see some of the videos on YouTube. And I'd say, like, cause I agree with some of the things. I agree. I never read his book, but I saw some episodes of his show called Conspiracy Theory. It used to be on Court TV. And, um, he went out and found the truth about several and several several things on nine eleven or other things. The third name, Michael Moore. He might know Michael Moore. He did them documentary movies about why does the government bail out AIG and bail out several banks about move, about money, movies and food and all like that. But I tell you, the reason why I say these three three thing three names is because they're the only people who give a give a damn about the U.S. The only these people only they these three people give a damn about the people. Jesse, Farrakhan, Michael Moore. Three these three people give a damn about. While we acting the fool, while we letting the government run us over, while we sitting there letting money control our lives, while we sitting up there dumbing ourselves down by watching reality shows. Yeah, I watch reality shows, but I'm still intelligent. It's funny I can sit there and talk about a subject, and I've still got that intelligent mind. It's just other people who run around, because I only watch one reality show. And that's Jersey Shores. I don't watch Road Rules or Real World. I don't watch none of that stuff. I don't watch one reality show, and it's Jersey Shores. But, but it's like this, though. But it's like this, though. The reason why I call this video government, government money, and uh, government money and TV is because that's all we. That's all it is. We're allowing these people to run over us. We're allowing these people to fuck up our lives. We're allowing these people. These, these these three things to screw us over instead of say oh I'm tired of the government security fucking each other yeah. mother see it's like this back in the day back in the day before 2011 before the 90s right before the 70s and 80s what happened one man marched so in segregation was set in place one man made a difference. He got a bunch of people together and marched to Washington. And he got a bill passed. Now what happened? Now what happened? 2011, oh, I'm, people are too damn lazy. People are too hung up. Oh, I'm broke. I can't go out there for Oh, you got money to go get your fucking hair fixed and your nails done and hit them damn clubs and buy new clothes. But your ass can't march with everybody else. Y'all can sit up on the internet 
go to these damn chat sites, fuck these motherfuckers, talk all this shit behind a computer screen, but you can't do shit outside. Now, if you look at us, man, now you look at us every today. 2011, man. Our ancestors came over here trying to make it different. Look at us now. We can't bust a, we can't bust a nut. Because we sitting up here allowing ourselves, we allowing these damn things fuck us over. Now, there's been a lot of people telling me that the Jewish people are controlling the money. Like they say, whoever controls the money controls the world. Now, I don't know if it's true if the Jews are controlling the money, because if they aren't, I, I got something to say. Uh, well, like I said, I don't know if they are, but if they is, if they are, if they controlling it, you got to think about it. Jews, you went through slavery, the Holocaust. And you sit there and you turn your back on everybody. Now, if it's like, yeah, if it's like, yeah, if you turn your money, if you turn your back on everybody, black folks went through slavery. Latinos went through slavery and they still going through it. Irish, Chinese, Japanese, other minorities went through slavery with you. And you turn your back on the on these people that was in the same motherfucking boat as you are but you want to control things why control the people that was in the same motherfucking boat as you are you was back in history now think about it when y'all motherfuckers was in Egypt and Israel y'all was letting one man make you build pyramids, make you build statues, make you bust your ass and be their motherfucking slave. Now you skip some years ahead. Black folks are doing the same damn thing, picking cotton, cleaning house, raising white kids that wasn't theirs, eating pots of pigs that the masters didn't want to eat. They in the same boat you was, cause you caught them the same damn hell. Now, skip a few minutes. Go to the west. No, yeah, go to the west. What happened? Blacks building on the railroad. Japs with Japanese and Chinese building on the railroad. Latinos building on the railroad. Railroad. Where was your ass? Jews right beside them working on the railroad. And that damn heat building train tracks through cities and states still being a slave and you turn your back on them you turn your back on these other minorities because what money is everything money is not all money is not everything money cannot bring happiness money cannot bring you what you want <laughs> when you let money control your life your life means jack shit when you allow the government take everything away from you and give it to the the people with power, the people that's got the money, that's up there with the Jew. That's up. I can't say the Jews just being racism. That's up there with the rich and famous people. Rich and famous got the money, and the government too. So when the government takes from the poor and gives to the rich, you're letting them get away. Oh, I'm right to my congressman. What congress gonna do? What's your congressman, your mayor, your senator, your governor, your governor gonna do? Not a damn thing because they all work for the government. You can write to them all damn day as you want. That ain't gonna do nothing but make them rip it up or throw it in the fire. So you can run to your politician or all you damn want. They're not gonna do nothing. You can yell to your blue in the face. They're not gonna do anything because they're too busy on trying to figure out how can we fuck the people over even more. You go to the polls and vote on a man. We spend more money putting one man in office than we spend of getting helping the people out. Now I'm not dissing Obama. I'm just saying we spend more money putting one man in the office than we do on sitting up here helping others out. Now TV, you sit there and we turn it on. Damn kids are getting dumber by the minute. If I ask a kid what's two plus two, they'll say eight. If I ask a if I ask a thirteen year old 
what's the square root, square root of 2? 58. If I ask them who was the 16th president of the United States, they'll say Clinton. The kids are getting dumbed down. They don't know what it things are anymore because you're allowing them to watch these shows where that dumbs them down. Now, why are you letting these kids? See, you remember back when we was young, back when your parents were young, back when your grandparents was, was young, what did they do? We was outside playing in playing out in the fields, playing in the street. We was playing with our friends. We was sitting up there doing what we did. Look at us now. Fat, overweight, on the internet watching. Oh, we watching Road Road. We love the Road We watching The Bachelor. We love The Bachelor. Oh, we watching Jersey Shore. We sitting up here watching all these damn reality shows. We don't give a fuck how we look anymore. Then we all get up on this internet and y'all bitch and complain and cyber bully each other till you can't do it no more. Till one day, you do, you sound bully so much, it's like a fucking match. It's like a match. Who can, who can kill who first? Who can, who can make one of the, who can make, who commit suicide first? That's how it is. Now this is, like I said, man, we're so fucking screwed up, man. People don't know what they're doing anymore. They look to the congressman. Congress ain't going to help. They look to the governor. The governor ain't going to do nothing. They look to the mayor. The mayor's not going to do nothing. What do they do? We look to the president. The president got his hands tied behind his back because the House of Congress is in the bear fucking him over. And y'all sit up here bitching, complaining. We want to change. We want to change. If you want things to change, you got to make it change. If, uh, if, <laughs> if, Homosexual can bitch and complain to make gay law, to make homosexual law to get married. You need to get off your fat lazy ass. Stop getting on this damn computer bitching about what the fuck I say. All you do is video it on YouTube and at least I'm telling the truth. At least I ain't bullshitting beat around the bush. At least I ain't like one of the motherfuckers. Oh, I'm gonna take a video camera and commit crimes and so I'll bully somebody till they commit suicide. I ain't gonna do that. I'm a grown ass man. What I gotta do that for? I see people here are over the age of 21. And they call themselves grown, but they sit up on the internet and they cyber bully the younger people, or they cyber bully the people their their age, the same age as them. I had a motherfucker tonight. Bitch me out because I don't show my face. Why you want to see what the hell I look like? It doesn't matter what I look like. It matters what I have to say. If you don't like what I say, don't listen. If you don't want to listen, if you want to listen, listen to what I got to say. Hear me out. But don't ask me to show my face just because you want to see what the hell I look like. Because to me, if you ask a man, if a man ask another man, let me see your face on Kim, that's going to throw flags up, no diss to people who are homosexuals. But that's going to make me think he's gay. Why you want to see my face? You need it. So one thing is, stop asking for me, for all the guys out there, all the men out there, stop asking to see my face because it's going to make me think you want to sleep with me because I'm not gay but you sitting up here let me see your motherfucking face I'm going to think you're gay no offense to homosexuals but that's how it is I'm going to think you're gay I don't mind if a woman oh can I see your face sure I don't mind because that's a woman asking me but a man that's going to make me question are you hey man are you little fruity in the pants you got a little sugar in your tank and I think that's unnecessary for a man to ask another man, can I see your face? It's like, it's like a straight man asking another straight man, can I see your dick? So quit asking to see my face. I'm not asking to see your face. You chose to show your face. If we live in a country where we have opportunities and we have choices, we can make our own choices, then I choose to hide my face. You choose to show your face. So quit asking me to show my face. If I'm not going to ask you, can I see your face? So quit asking me to, oh, show your face. I'm not. I'm tired of people asking. And quit saying, oh, that whole wookie gimmick. Look, if you got a problem with me with the wookie pictures, why don't you walk your ass down? Why don't you take your ass out there to California? Go to Skywalker Ranch. Go up to George Lucas and tell him that the wookie is a damn gimmick in front of his awards and his money. 
because I didn't make the Wookiee he did so the Wookiee is his character not mine I got called the Wookiee by friends they nicknamed me Afro Joe the Wookiee so I took the name and ran with it so let's roll out but like I said Michael Moore, Jesse Ventura, and Louis Farrakhan. These three brothers are telling the truth, but people overlook them because their beliefs are not the same as theirs. I go up and I look up Jesse Ventura's movie, or I watch Michael Moore's movies, or I listen to what the hell Jesse Ventura says. Because I pay attention because I want to see what they got to say. And I bet you, that he, remember, uh, Jesse Ventura wrote a book. And then I seen the video on the view. It said, "Are you, are you afraid something will happen to you because of this book?" He said, "If everything is in that book <laughs> is true, I got something to worry worry about. If there's nothing, if I ain't got, if that, if everything in this book is true, I got something to worry about. If everything in that book is not true, I don't got nothing to worry about. So what he's saying is, if I'm telling the truth." I be if I'm lying, I'll still be living and breathing. If I'm telling the truth, I'll be dead by now. It's saying that the government can, it's saying that if the government kills me, everything I said in that book is true. If I'm if I'm still alive, then that means the government makes me look like a liar. They showing that's how it is with Louis Farrakhan, Michael Moore, and Jesse Ventura. If the government kills these three people. Everything they said, everything they protest protest about is true. Everything if they if they keep them alive then they show that everything they say is a lie. But it's still the truth. They would just want it to be a lie. If you want them to be a if the government the government needs to pay attention, if you want them to look like liars, then you need to stop hiding things. You need to stop babying the rich and famous and stop babying the middle class and poor and helping out the middle class and poor. You need to stop sending our troops over the countries fighting because what's there to fight about? Nothing. The only reason why the government is sending our troops over there because we're broke. We're so much in debt to China that China could have shit. We owe them so much money. Shit, they need to say you owe uh, your rent is due. China is our landlord, and we still own their money. If the government stops sending the troops over there to fight <laughs> for no reason, we'll still ha we'll have good money. If the government stops babying the rich and famous, and stop giving them all the money, then we'll have money. If they baby the rich and poor, if they baby the middle class and poor more, then you can hook. Then you won't have to not worry about much. But if you keep on wearing baby about the rich and fames, then you giving too much money out. The government doesn't think TV fucks your mind up, and money does not make you happy. If you don't like this has been Afro Joe. If you don't like what I got to say, kiss my ass. If you do like what I got to say, leave me a uh, leave me a comment or a video response. If you don't like what I got to say, kiss my ass, move the fuck on, and don't say shit to me. But if you like what I got to say. Leave a video response or a comment. I would love to get a video response from now and then, but I ain't going to put a gun to your head. So thanks for y'all listening to me. This has been Afro Joe. Thanks. Just like, and tell your friends about this. Stop watching these reality shows. Stop believing in your, stop believing in your government. And stop wasting your time trying to get all the money. And plus, I'm not trying to get fucking famous off the internet.